Hi, my name is Will Eves. I'm going to be editing a reader of Patricia Beer's work for Carcanet. And this is a poem from her penultimate collection, Friend of Heraclitus, which I seem to remember I reviewed back in 1994. The Voice. When God took my aunt's baby boy, a merciful neighbour gave her a parrot. She could not have afforded one, but now bought a new cage as brilliant as the bird and turned her back on the idea of other babies. He looked unlikely. In her house, his scarlet feathers stuck out like a jungle, though his blue ones blended with the local pottery which carried messages like, Do ye help yourself to train me, Ansem? He said nothing when he arrived. Not a quotation from pet shop gossip or a sailor's oath. No sound from someone's home telephone or car door slamming, and none from his, Tom Tom, war cry, or wild beast roaring. He came from silence, but was ready to become noise. My aunt taught him nursery rhymes morning after morning. He learnt Miss Muffet, Jack and Jill, Little Jack Horner, including her jokes. She used to say, turds and way. A genuine Devon accent is not easy. Actors cannot do it. He could, though. In his court clothes he sounded like a farmer, as her son might have. He sounded like our family. He fitted in. Years went by. We came and went. A day or two before he died, he got confused and muddled up his rhymes. Jack Horner ate his pail of water. The spider said what a good boy he was. I wept. He had never seemed puzzled by the bizarre events he spoke of. But the last day he turned his head towards us with the bewilderment of death upon him, said, broke his crown, and Christmas pie, and tumbled after. My aunt died the next winter, widowed, childless, pitied and patronised. I cannot summon up her voice at all. She would not have expected it to be remembered after so long. But I can still hear his.